About three minutes until that race briefing. No, it's the first time here, and I really love this place. Uh, and yeah, the the bike loop and the run loop are very, very fun. <laughs> Little tricky also, but it's quite fun. Yeah. Lots of hills, rocky, reedy sections, and uh, everyone was super strong out there. It was really cool to be racing amongst some of the best. Yeah, this year we definitely had a, a super strong women's field, so I knew it was going to be really, really tough to defend. I like the course. It's uh, not super technical for the bike. It's a, lot, it's a pretty fast one. It's definitely a fun one to do. It's, just, it's, a, it's kind of a change up from the slower stairs. You kind of just get a lot loose and just go. It's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's hard, but it's, it's a lot of fun at the same time. And, Definitely need, would like to see more courses with you know more technical aspects to them. Came out of the water uh, in the top three with Karsten and JP. Uh, we started off hard on the bike. Uh, Kieran caught us pretty quickly on the on the first uphill, and then I was riding uh, just behind Kieran. Uh, unfortunately, he crashed and went down, uh, and I was unable to continue. I, but uh, made sure that he was okay since I was behind him. And then once I was assured of that, then continued the race and uh, gave JP an opportunity to catch up. And then once he had caught up, we rode together basically through the entire rest of the bike. Yeah, I had a, a pretty fast swim, so I led the women out of the water. And then uh, the bike ride was super fun, and so I was trying to enjoy it and have fun and flow and push it on the, the easier sections and just control it on the more technical stuff. And then um, came off in the run. It was a little tricky on the footing, so I was trying to <laughs> be smart and uh, make sure I didn't trip and fall and hurt myself before racing again next week. I, uh, I was actually doing the exterior at Milton, Ontario, uh, three weeks ago. So I thought it would be a good idea to do as well uh, Victoria. And uh, it's just a beautiful course. I'm so glad I came. Um, on the bike, I had a little crash, and I had to ride the entire rest of the course with my handlebar like kind of sideways. Background is mountain biking, and I usually love a technical course, but today I took a couple wrong turns and uh, lost my focus and had trouble getting back in the game. Um, I'm most happy with my run. Uh, it's quite technical and a uh, really fun course and I'm glad I was able to finish strong. Uh, one of my good friends grew up in Victoria so recommended uh, come up and check out the city and the race sounded really cool so I decided to come up for the weekend. Flatted so I lost a little bit of time and it was a little bit too much to make up so you know that's how it goes. For me the first time I actually crashed on a run. <laughs> I actually fell on this run and kind of cut up my hands and stuff, so it, uh, it the fatigue adds up on you quick here. This year I kind of am just picking the events um, that I really love and um, any chance I get to come out to you know BC and Victoria, I, I jump on it and so I love it here and you know wanted to, wanted to make a point of coming here. This year is more, um, I'm kind of picking off some, some single individual events and I, I really want to have a good showing at um, I2 Cross Worlds in Penticton. I ran 50. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I was trying to order a meter. Is that what you guys?
guys and take our sign down.